We're trying to do something more and more of constructive value, learn how to build a locomotive, learn how to plant better crops, learn how to go into the ground and uh, come up with an irrigation. This video is brought to you by Hip Hop Cartoons. I need everybody under the sound of my voice to make sure you guys go to the top line of the description box and go check out Hip Hop Cartoons right now. Go! All right, let's get into it, man, because we got a new breaking development coming out of the Young Dolph case now. You know, um, after Young Dolph was murdered in front of McKeeba's Cookers the other day, Internet footage, you know, footage from the uh, store itself, video surveillance footage, still images started coming out. There was two pictures that were, it seemed like um, it was two guys who actually did the shooting. And it was actually a car that looked like it was like an E-Class white Mercedes Benz. Well, just a few moments ago, we were informed here at Hip Hop News Uncensored that that car, the alleged shooters of Young Dolph, was recovered down in memphis now a lot of people are saying it's in the orange mound section of south memphis there and you can see people people out there with their phones recording it and um yeah they found the car now i said like as soon as they started putting out the car and they put out you know the images of the individuals that it would, would be a matter of time you know um before they will be caught because obviously the public is now beginning to talk and this is a situation where yeah you got the no snitch thing and all that but if you're talking about regular civilians that are in that area you know um in that neighborhood they're going to tell i mean that's only how they found the car like somebody's just not in the streets and all that that rules don't apply to them like old grandmama you know um an older lady or older gentleman you know, a young lady that's going to work every day. Those rules don't apply. So, young Dolph, like I hear a lot of people saying this, and correct me if I'm wrong, Memphis. They saying he was the, you know, the Nipsey hustle of Memphis. A lot of people are hurt. A lot of people love young Dolph. And a lot of people want to bring the two people who are responsible for killing him in cold blood the other day to justice. That's just what it is. You know, um, that's just what it is, you know. And quite frankly you know i think it's just a sad situation either way you look at it and you know i was thinking early before i did the video i'm like you know what it's, it has to come a point where you know these rappers especially at the level of like a young Dolph, they kind of need like three to four armed guys with them everywhere they go even at their house at this point because i could see a situation where he should have been like you know somebody should have been outside Somebody should have been in the car. Somebody should have been in the store with them. It should have been like executive level security. I don't care where he goes because, you know, uh, it, just the threat of it is too high. And you kind you got to look at yourself if you're one of these um, rappers as, you know, just too valuable. Too valuable to be killed. Too valuable to be shot. You're the cash cow. You have to be protected at all cost but then again i see the other side of it you in your neighborhood your family's there your mom's there your sisters people still there because they you know you got the money to move them but they probably don't want to move you know you your parents they get old and they they good you ain't thinking somebody gonna do nothing to your parents because the rules is all you know people got the rules all messed up you know what i mean they're going after kids now people's parents people's families so you thinking all right i'm going to my mom's you know she want me to go to the store i do this all the time it just so happened at this one time, it looks like somebody probably had to drop on him. And um, no doubt he was set up. You know, we don't know for sure, but no doubt. I mean, the chances of somebody randomly just seeing him, you know, uh, and, and going to go shoot him. Uh, to me, it's a higher probability in a place like Memphis, being as though the gun laws are so loose. Anybody could just be driving around in a car with a gun where you could have somewhere else, you know, where, yeah, you got guys that's doing that, but... Most people ain't going to do it because they don't want to get caught by the cops, you know, what I mean, unless they really in that lifestyle. But if you just, you know, anybody could just, you know, you're driving around, you know, uh, um, there and, you know, you could just have a gun. You're going to have it. Now, there's been a lot of um, videos and still footage, I should say, that came out over the last couple of days of somebody that allegedly was pointing a gun at the getaway car, which I don't really know how 
I mean, I seen I seen the footage myself, um, the still footage myself. That's a crazy. So this image came out, you know, um, on Thursday. You know, now according to an alleged witness, they said who filmed the aftermath. Dolph was shot so many times during the deadly assault. Now the witness clip also showed the police handcuffing this man who shot back at the white Mercedes. So apparently he did shoot back. You know, um, the identity of the man who shot back at Dolph killers has not been confirmed. So whether it was it was secu it was it was his security or not, we will find out very very soon. But there's the image. You guys can see that still image right there, and um. You know, the angle, the angle that, you know, that we were able to see of the car was the other side of the car. So I don't know if there's bullet holes in the other side of the car. I don't know, you know, if any of these guys were hit or anything like that. But um, my question is, why in the hell would this dude be arrested? Why would he be arrested? Because this would classify, in my opinion, as self-defense. You know, if he was with Dolph, which most likely he was. His homie got shot. He dumps back at the dude. Why is he being arrested? So there's a lot to unravel, and it's just going to take time. Over the next, you know, few months to a year, we're going to know a lot. When the Nipsey situation first happened, we didn't know a lot. But now we know a lot. There's, you know, court transcripts out there. The getaway driver. Everybody has given up a statement. Cowboy, all in people. The same. It's going to be the same situation here. I just think, man, that um, I think it's definitely deadly, dangerous to be a rapper but i think you have to arm yourself likewise if you're able to afford security get it get it everywhere you go hometown everywhere have a couple dudes standing by waiting for it, like looking for it that's what that's what it needs to be you can't let your guard down at this point in time because these rappers have so many targets not only by the feds but you got people the haters out there and some of these guys got sworn enemies that they're going back and forth with you know what I mean? So you got all those aspects and you got the aspect, you know, of the social media. Everything's being posted on social media so people can see where you at. They can see the background. They can see, you know, what type of jury. They can see your cars and all of that. It's a lot, man. But I'm going to digress on this one. Um, definitely going to continue to keep you guys like we always do here on Hip Hop News Uncensored. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button, share the video, and most importantly, subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored for more exclusives just like this one. As I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you guys go to the top line of the description box and go follow Hip Hop Cartoons right now. They are the sponsors for this video, and they got some real powerful message, not only for children, but for adults as well. That link is at the top line of the description box right now. Everybody under the sound of my voice, go follow Hip Hop Cartoons. With that being said, it's your brother, Old God Man. Hip Hop Uncensored is the vibe. So subscribe. Rest in peace, my brother Darren. And rest in peace, Young Dolph. Until next time, peace.